Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be about the DMA controller for my modular motherboard project. So I've added this kind of as an experimental side of it for those who want to try it out. Generally speaking, you'll probably never need this unless you're trying to implement some floppy drive control. Um, I've set it up here on the board. I've got pin header here. I made these a while ago. Comes out here to the uh, breadboard. I've connected a port 0160 and that's the port I'm going to be using to send data from memory to an I.O. So the way this is going to work is we're going to turn it on. I'm going to set up the port. I'm going to set up the DMA controller. I've got two buttons here. Uh, got DRQ1 and DRQ3 set up let's see so three is probably let's see, so three is this top one here one's the bottom one one of them just holds it so like uh, cascade mode one of them will take that data and i'm using the index register at uh address seven uh for the segment uh and then uh zero one six zero would be the address that i'm bringing data from uh, quick look at the card, not much to it. It plugs into a slot just like the processor slot. And that's for the uh, hold and hold acknowledge lines really uh, coming off of there. Uh, got our DMA controller 8237. I haven't got an 8257 to work yet. Got our uh, address latch for address 8 through 15. Got our index register. For address line 16 through 19. So many of you know this is a 64k uh, controller and it used an index register to, go, to select which segment effect essentially that you're reading or writing from. And that's where I talk about the address in memory is 70160 but the IO because IOs are only 64k uh, is going to be 0160. Um, let's boot it up. I've had uh, some trouble with this. I'd imagine this whole mess of wires is creating issues for the board. The screen's going to be a little blurry. Now this works with both the V40 card and the V20 card. Now I've been asked the V40 does have a built-in DMA controller but it is not PC compatible. And so I made sure I did not connect that to the system and if you want to use a DMA controller, you use this add-on uh, board. All right, let's boot it up. It's going to be blurry, but I'm just going to go over to a directory I made. It's called DMA. I'm going to set up my port. So you can see this light just came on. That just indicates I set it up correctly. I'm going to set up the DMA controller. Nothing there to see. Just kind of look down here. So you've got your lines here. For one and three. So if we push the button, you can see, so this top button holds the system, and you can see that light goes dim, this light here, and that's set up in a, what they call a cascade mode, and all it really is is just like a hold button. It'll hold the system. So I push the button here, and it sends some data there, and that's the current value that's at that port address. So let's Let's go to debug. I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen. It's gonna be real blurry. But I'm gonna to go to I'm gonna just go to address seven zero one six zero and I'm gonna put in a value of F zero. Now if I push the button, see the lights, F zero. Um, let's go ahead and just exit that. Made another program called repeat. And that's just going to increment that value in memory. So now when I hold it, that value, you can see the program hasn't terminated. And all it's doing is incrementing that value at address 70160. And I'm holding the button, so it's triggering the DMA, and I guess... It gets a brief second to execute some code, and then it triggers it again, and it's just counting up there. So 
So that's some basic stuff there. You see if I don't hold it for a minute, it has to catch up. Um, let's go ahead and reboot this. So, like I was saying, this is very experimental. As you can see, it is working. The channels are working. The index register is working. Now, reliability, or if it's connected 100% correctly, I can't guarantee that. But definitely, if somebody wants to give it a try uh, with some floppy drives, uh, I'd like to see a demo on that. Now, let's go ahead and set this up again. I'm going to just play a game for a second. And with this, i got to demonstrate the, uh, the cascade option where it holds the processor. So you can see the game's playing, and that's the hold. So the whole system is just being held right now until I release the button. You see, it's not crashing, and this this is with the V40 processor. I was having some issues with the V20 processor. I had to reshoot the video; kept crashing on me. So, anyway, that's a quick demo on that. If you have any questions, you can email me. If you want to give this a try, uh, I can send one out to you. But uh, anyway. Thanks for checking out the video.